not so introduction. Today I'm thinking about my artworks almost 30 years. <laughs> so the content is uh, here. Uh, sound generated images. When I was 20, start of the uh, sound generated images, and then uh, in 30, you know, uh, emotional recognition by AI, and then uh, changing emo cultural computing by AI, then looking for Japanese beauty. Then now I'm interested about invisible nature. So uh, this is my uh, early artworks. It was collected by Noma. So this is called the unexpression, uh, make a, uh, made, made, in, made by 1985. This is a very simple, but the uh, monitor uh, showing to the many ex expression like this. And then at the same time, uh, life sensor, put on the life sensor in the monitor, put on the monitor surface, and then uh, through the flight sensor uh, generated you know, sound by real time, very analog way. So I show you a little bit. And rule is you know, very simple. Uh, uh, brightness is getting darker like this, and the sound becomes the more high tone. And uh, on the other hand, surface of the you know, brightness getting more brighter, sound becomes to the low tone. But this is uh, at a real time. It was 1985. Not so much put in you know, a personal computer. <laughs> and many uh, facial expressions appear and, you know, like this. Surface monitor you know, images getting more brighter, uh, sound is getting low tone, generated by you know, analog synthesizer. And then uh, this kind of images, uh, nine minutes, and then uh, user can be see the uh, system. This is a this is a, this is a you know, this kind of video art is no story, no dramatic, but uh, people can be found to the uh, how relationship uh, images and sound relationship. This is a kind kind of time based art video art. So I try to do this kind of things almost ten years. But, uh, so now I'm maybe so. And then I'm trying to do this kind of things almost 10 years, but a uh, little bit tired of the time-based art. And then uh, I'm interested about, in 1990s, I'm interested about more interactive images. And then at that time, you know, personal computer appear, and then also it can be possible to the interactive, you know, responsibility, human-computer interaction by emotional uh, intonation. And then I start, it, this one is, you know, my first success or successful of the interactive art piece called New Robotic. It was showed as Arts Electronica 1993. Uh, it was an Arts Electronica series of artificial life. And also, you know, I show a seed in 1993. Then, you know, maybe like a uh, character in the monitor. And then here is the uh, microphone. <laughs> then uh, people talking to the, some high voice and low voice. And then baby, neural baby needs them and using a neural network. There are mainly two communication channels. And then response to them or depend on the people's uh, voice intonation by emotion. So far, most researchers and then, have been uh, developing uh, verbal communication surprise, uh, angry or speech recognition or character recognition or recognition are typical research so. areas. <laughs> what we have found through our experiments is that the nonverbal communication channel is the key 
when we want to realize a truly human-like communication between computer characters and humans. So, and then I heard that this kind of things do it, but, you know... We have created a baby-like character called NeuroBaby, which can recognize the emotions involved in the human voice and react to them. People, regardless of age, gender, and even language can become totally involved in the interaction with this character. But, we recognize sometimes, that this is the key sometimes, to the of uh, people, not so much, you know, you know, true communication with, you know, baby. If people terrorize the, you know, uh, communication, terrorize the, you know, emotion to the computer. That's why I was, I am more sick to the more unconsciousness information, such as using, uh, you know, heartbeat and the human distance from psychological point of view. And it, it showed, uh, you know, it, it is successful to the unconscious flow at works, showing in the sick graph. And also in the photograph of 2002. From a hidden dimension in society. And two more. generated moment or moment comes from an individual agent of two users. Each moment agent moves in sync with the process, by an electrode attached to the collarbone of its viewer. This is a synchronous and interaction model that has created a light on the system. Down the light of the system. No verbal communication. For example, and you know, two people in communication with each other, but sometimes agent of the mermaid is fighting depending on uh, their heartbeat and distance of the people. And this one is because you know, I made a you know, in synchronization interaction model. Staying is relaxed by heartbeat, and interest and less interest by human hand distance by emotional, psychological point of view. Behavior is four patterns. This is a good communication. When both people are in the domain, when they are highly strained and less interested, and fairly When both people are in the domain, where they are highly relaxed and less interested, they are considered to go in their own way. An animation is generated to be which, for example, money in darkness don't This is uh, not so much interested in each other. In the domain, when they are highly trained and highly interested, this is a complex situation. Very shy, but they interested in each other. For example, one is reacting to the environment very shyly. In this way, you cause a non verbal communication that is seen in the face to face and so. And then, this kind of work, you know, recognize, you know, hand gesture and also uh, heartbeat rate sensing. And then show to the RC Stronica. If some computer graphics needs to be changed, we can remember how smart they Computer graphics generate creates computer graphics based on these commands and outputs the computer graphics system. Sound so, processing processes the sound data as required. And, and then this kind of things, I am working on the almost uh, until 2000. And then after that, after 2000, uh, I found you know this kind of emotion and unconsciousness information is very very uh, related of the culture. Okay, 
And then, depending on culture, changing emotion, such as you know, love and uh, such as things. And then I'm starting on the you know, uh, cultural computing. And especially I am a Japanese, I am quite interested about Zen Buddhism, and then try to somehow try to the Zen uh, make, made by the computer. How people understanding. Uh, this is a kind of Zen explain system called the uh, uh, genetic computer. I'll show you some. Uh, when I made uh, this one, I came to the you know, MIT, uh, uh, went to the MIT, and uh, I became to the uh, artist fellow at Center for Advanced Visual Studies. This is a very historical art and technology laboratory. We tried to develop an interactive system that could help us recreate ourselves by adopting Buddhist principles, Asian philosophy, and traditional Japanese culture through inspirational media of ink painting, kimono, and haiku. Recreating ourselves means our daily self meeting our hidden self through wondering about something, or in other words, our consciousness and unconsciousness melding in complete harmony. It is difficult to achieve this experience through traditional logic-based interaction. We succeeded in reaching this goal by making the above types of images the target of scientific computing. And the first time, skip to the little, the very tiny user interact to this, this system. This is a genetic computer system show to the MIT Museum. And this is the first step of the genetic computer interaction, making a sensory ink painting. And the top of the you know, line is a material of the sensory ink painting, 12 icons. And then drop to the screen, not drawing, you know, because, you know, some people are not so good drawing people. <laughs> That's why I put on the somewhere and making a construction of the we created a images. virtual world through images of the Asian so, and also this one also very interesting because because uh, Asia have a very special perspective not like a, you know western way it's called the Sanya looking up parallel views and looking down at the same one pictures very uh, panorama. And then after that, make a, this this kind of picture. Uh, people can be entered their own picture world. By using a neural network. And this is and the behind of the engine. Concept. I collaborated with you know chaos the research. Basic spirits and materials. And this is a kind of you know Buddhism One. way of the model. It's called the Gohun. Superficial appearance of the so called you know, One is reality. very surface. And then getting more two. deep understanding. Two. Intuitive impressions. Three. So. Perceived images. Four. Gyo. Activation of behavior. Five. Shiki. The deep mind behind all of the above. And then users can enter their own 3D ink painting picture. People enter their Depending own picture and various stories are generated. Walking. The environmental information of a story, such as scenery or weather, is used for Godai, which encompasses all elements of structure: water, fire, wind, sky, and earth. In the virtual world, users enter a story that shakes their consciousness. And they're using a three compass, and then survive, uh, sometimes, you know, related of the hike to appear with mountain or river. This is not a complete story, such as those in... And then this is a kind of a road movie. And then I show you just one Zen koan. Uh, Zen koan is a Zen dialogue. It is a 
kind of answer the questions. There is a small say, running here. Like, okay. Uh, how to catch catfish to small goal by small goal? Have you ever seen this kind of fish before? Ha! <laughs> it's a catfish. Well, try to catch it. It's slippery. Not easy to catch. What will you do? And the catfish coming to the front of the screen. Furthermore, the ink painting engine made by computer graphics can be virtually And the front of the screen is not that ink And depending on the people's interactions, uh, backside is Godai. Uh, no, no. The wounds, uh, chaos engines, uh, you know, moving. The user state moves from this the current is a state engines. toward the next target state. During the motion, the user agent, Chaos 2, interacts with the Zen master, Chaos 1. If the user agent can synchronize with Zen master, the user state can reach the next target. If the user agent cannot synchronize with the Zen master, the user state goes into a compromised state. When the user has too much success in reaching the next target, the Zen master, Chaos 1, will become stronger and synchronization becomes more... And from the international It's difficult, right? And then, finally, an imagination. It's like a hint. Slippery catfish and the gourd. Is it a catfish or a gourd? What is the catfish? Is the catfish moving? Slippery catfish. Things that catch and things that get caught. I want you to become free from both. The slippery catfish. I wonder if you understand. Things that catch and things that get caught. Yes, I want you to become free from both. So, and then, uh after you know, make a Zenity computer, it was spent almost three years, and then Zen kind, Zen Buddhism, including some Japanese beauty, beauty, I found it, and also you know many people, a Westerner, especially Westerner in the Boston area, are people understanding you know uh, Zen Buddhism is just not only relaxation, you know, meaning through the Zen dialogue of the haiku like this, and then. I'm thinking about more deep, deep thinking about, you know, looking for the Japanese beauty. Um, this is called the sound of Ikebana, you know, uh, Sherry the Wind showed to the, some, my picture in the New York Times Square. Uh, this is, a, you know, sound, sound uh, speaker. On the speaker, uh, put, uh, some, you know, uh, sound is, uh, Sound vibration appear, and then kind of you know uh, this kind of you know uh, water like uh, liquid things is jumping on. At the same time, shoot by high speed camera, two thousand first second frame, uh, two thousand first seconds, and then make uh, this kind of ikebana like shape. So this is the sound of ikebana. I do show.
given a hub in you know, four seasons. And uh, a good thing is, you know, curator of the uh, Sherry Dobbin uh, chose my artworks in the spring of the Times Square uh, midnight moment. And then uh, now I show you the video. This is, uh, you know, you know, New York is even April very, very cold. You know, New York citizen very waiting for the spring. And then such as, you know, cherry blossom like this. And then uh, we show every night in April. This color is spring color. This is a very classic, traditional art flower arrangement. But now go changes its artistic practice. Hiroka's work is so extraordinary. The beautiful colors and slow motion action are a perfect complement to the hustle and bustle of Times Square. Her pieces use a very tiny, tiny pigment and the paints, but she expands the scale and changes the entire atmosphere of the space. Speaker put on the top and put on the very thin rubber and put on the painting pigments. And then speaker on and the sound coming and then jumping up. At the same time, shooting by high speed camera, 2000 frames per second. My philosophy is cultural computing using a cutting edge technology combined to the traditional art. I feel history is living in here. This is in the middle of the city. The artwork is away from the institution and has the freedom. And then, uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, my found things in Japanese beauty. You know, when I'm shooting by high-speed camera, like this, it is a very, very similar of the uh, Japanese beauty. As, like, you know, the capture of the nature, such as, you know, Ikebana Homans. Ikebana Homans, you know, make a, a three-point is important. Uh, make a, you know, this, like this, a uh, fragile triangle. And but very, very, I found, you know, similar to the you know, natural phenomena shooting by high-speed camera. So, and I think maybe, you know, uh, Japanese beauty is, this is, you know, you cannot see your naked eye, invisible nature, it's called new invisible nature. That's why uh, I am a started of the, you know, Maybe Japanese beauty in the invisible nature, and I. This is my hypothesis, but uh, I'm trying to that. So then I not only you know uh, first first successful is sound of Ikebana, and not and then after that more interest about you know uh, changing of the uh, fluid dynamics, fluid features, and without fluid uh, fluid features such as, you know, like this. Uh, this is a uh, kind of explosion of the flowers. And uh, making, uh, you know, using uh, many other materials, uh, experiment to uh, generate beauty using, uh, you know, Freud, vibration, rotation, viscosity, plasma phenomena, you know, physical phenomena, like so on. So, for example, you know, visualization of the field of dynamics. This is a linear flow. This is a typical linear flow. And uh, this one is artistic uh, flow, luminal flow. 
like this. And using uh, uh, dryads, several uh, interaction between bubble, bubble created by dryads in the uh, water, water like, not water, but, but jelly like water. So, and then this kind of technique, using this kind of technique, I made a Tokyo Olympic 2020 play event, Sports Culture World Forum, Kyoto opening last year. I show you a little bit part of the opening video. <laughs> And then 
And then I am thinking about why, you know, they mock say so, and uh, more research, research now. So then this is uh, my final images, Japanese art, uh, vs you know Western art. When I was uh, last year, I was a Japan cultural envoy, uh, 2016. Uh, so, and uh, I went to the many countries, of course, including uh, London, uh, uh, Britain also. And then, uh, I found, you know, like uh, this, you know, natural phenomena, natural invisible nature, uh, you know, very, you know, related to the uh, Japanese cultural form, such as the Kebana. It means, uh, you know, kind of Japanese art, as capturing of the nature. It's called the art, okay? On the other hand, Westerns, Westerns arts. It is, the uh, Westerners say, Western is very famous, you know, generalist, or the people say, oh, this is uh, sometimes not, you know, art. This is a kind of national, national geographic, <laughs> they said. And the Westerners say, uh, you know, if it is art means, you know, expression of the human activity. Uh, you know, this is a famous, you know, video artist, Bill Viola, using a uh, high-speed camera. So, and uh, uh, they said, <laughs> this is my hypothesis. And so, what do you think about this? That's all. That's all. Thank you.